guys, my name is Dan, and I wanted to welcome you to our channel. Uh, the channel is called Sailing on a Whim. About a year ago, I uh, kind of came to a point where I felt like I kind of wanted to try something different. I had just closed the business, um, and I thought I would take a year off to do some traveling. Um, I mean, I was kind of broke at the time. It was the middle of winter in Minnesota, which is depressing all on its own. And I kind of was like, you know what, if I'm going to be depressed and miserable, I'm going to do it somewhere beautiful. So I uh, kind of started the process of, of thinking about traveling, and I've always been interested in sailing. So we started doing a little research, and that's when I found out about the YouTube sailing channels. And that was pretty much, if you were watching this, you've probably seen a bunch, and you realize like how addicting it is to watch some of these, you know, these people are out traveling around the world on their sailboats, living this beautiful life, which I know it's not always as easy as it may, it, it may seem, but I was hooked. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. That was really the, the catalyst for everything happening. Didn't know how to sail, didn't have a boat, didn't have any money. <clears throat> I decided to approach a friend of mine, Krista, who you're gonna meet very soon. She's awesome. She's one of my best friends. She's been working with me and for me for the last um, five years, and now she's kind of more of a friend and partner. Um, she's going to come along and we decided to pool our resources because we're both single. We thought, well, let's go do this together. We got nothing else going on and let's have some fun. So over the last year, we've, uh, we've learned how to film. I've learned how to film. She has learned how to do other things. <laughs> our goal for the first year is just to really stick to the Caribbean. Um, originally I wanted to just go straight across the Pacific, but you know, as you, as you get into sailing, you realize that's kind of nuts. Um, right now it's just Chris and I. I'm bringing my dog, Lily. You'll meet her too soon. She is a cute little bug, but she's a little older, so I'm a little nervous about bringing her, but I think she's going to have, I think the last couple of years of her life, I want to take her some cool places. A little background. So um, people are going to ask, how do you afford this? Well, I was broke when we decided to do this. I have picked up and worked over the last year with tons of other little small jobs. Um, to make some extra money and then I also produce, I've been doing this for a long time, is produce uh, one of the biggest New Year's parties in Minneapolis, St. Paul. I've been doing that. It just had our 15th year anniversary and so that helped um, fund some of this and we'll come back next year to actually put that event on and, and that'll be a, a one source of income but it's just not a lot. So well, that's really about it. I just wanted to make a quick introduction, uh, share with you kind of uh, who I am and what we're going to be doing and we hope you follow along. Um, on our journey. I think it's going to be a blast. You're going to have a ride with us. So um, again, we will uh, just stay tuned and we'll see you out on the water. So if you want to go out and sail around the world, there's a couple things you need to know. First, you need to know how to sail. Good morning. How are you? So, this is the going to be the, one of the official first things I do in order to start sailing. So, we're taking a sailing course. So, being the fact that we had no idea what we're doing, and it was going to be a long time till we got a boat, uh, I decided that it would be the best thing to do is to actually just to take some courses and start learning how to sail. So I reached out to a local yacht club and they had a class starting in a couple days, so I signed up. We even got there a little early, so I asked the instructor that was there if he could just give us a quick explanation of what we we're about to learn. Greg, you want to just tell everybody kind of what we're doing? Yeah, sure. It's a, This is a two-day sailing course on the Sunfish, as you can see right there. And it, it's not a lot of time to learn, but we will start out with a classroom uh, explaining points of sail, knots, safety and other things. Um, then we'll come back out on the beach, we'll show people how to rig the boats, and we'll also do a swim test to make sure that you can um, get into a boat safely with a life jacket on. So that's one of the main things that we're really looking at to make sure that you don't panic in the water, you can get yourself into a boat because when we're out there sailing, one of the requirements will be to turtle the sunfish, which means flipping it over, and that you can rewrite it and get yourself in physically. I don't know why I got such a big kick out of the fact that one of the first things they were gonna test us on was how good of a swimmer we were turtle the sailboat, get it flipped back over, get back in it. Either way, I was just excited to get on with the class, so we headed back up to the clubhouse and started with the classroom stuff. In case you should get... You know, these classes are great just for learning the basics. It's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah. 
lunch break. One of the other ways you want to get some experience sailing is by racing. Uh, Bruce here was recruiting for the Yacht Club for some of their local races. And that was one of the reasons I took this class is because I knew that they were going to feed the people that took this class into their race program and that's exactly what they did. And Bruce also ended up being the father of the guy that introduced me to this class in the first place. Joel, just so you know if you see this, I seldom do I ever mention that you're one of my offspring. <laughs> just, just kidding. Bruce was even nice enough to give us a quick tour of his boat. But not too long after, we had to head back to the beach for the regular sailing course. Well, so after the class, which was a blast. We had a lot of fun. You learned a lot of great basics. Dumped the boat, got back in, learned some good things, and just got the feel for sailing a small boat. That was really fun. And of course, now that that's over, we go on to the next lesson, which is how to socialize. I think I got this. Ashley, thank you for pouring the wine. <laughs> you can say hi to everybody. Hello. Hi, how are you? And say hi, Charles, everybody. Hi, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Any advice for a new sailor? Uh, yeah, just show up. Everyone loves the new crew members and they're all excited about that. I highly suggest if you want to learn how to sail, go check out your local yacht club and sign up for some courses or crew on some race boats. You will not regret it and you'll meet a ton of great people. Again, if you want to learn how to sail and you don't have a boat, it's not a big deal. Almost all yacht clubs have casual races, so just call them up, find out when the races are and show up. And many times they have a sign just like this. It's usually really easy. There are always boats looking for extra crew. And if there's anything you can be sure of, sailors love to teach other people how to sail. And they also love to show off their boats. And that's pretty much exactly what we did. Called up a local yacht club, found out when their races were, and actually, this particular yacht club held a orientation at the beginning of the season, and that's where we met a ton of skippers that had space in their boats. Not only did we learn a ton of great skills really quickly, but we met so many really fun, cool people, and we had a riot the entire summer. Sailing. Longer than you've been breathing. Probably. I'm not going to be any more specific. <laughs> Dave, or as the locals affectionately refer to him as Shirtless Dave, was our skipper for many races throughout the summer and graciously handled all of our annoying questions that we asked him during each of the races and on many phone calls throughout the summer. One cool thing about Lake City is that it's located about an hour south of the Twin Cities along a really beautiful stretch of the Mississippi River. And if you have time, it's always fun to stop at one of the many parks or towns and have lunch or grab a view from any of the many scenic overlooks. Good, thank you. Well, we won our race today, which was great. My uh, first time.